The reason why I won't be back at Syracuse is because... What's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Soleil Boy. And by the title of this video, you know a little bit of what I'm going to be talking about today. I think it's something I have to sit down and talk to you about. Why am I not going back to Syracuse? Where do I even start? I don't even know how to even start this, this question. Um... <laughs> I'm gonna tell you a little bit about me in college, like in Syracuse University. So, if you don't know, I am a senior in college this year. I can't believe it. This, this has like, time has flown. I started like 2020, fall of 2020. My first year was like online, so I didn't really live the college freshman year. So my sophomore year was my freshman year in reality. I actually began in engineering. <laughs> I know, but that's super off-brand for me, like so like weird. Um, because I'm like fully like an artistic person. I love acting, performing, editing. So that, that's like completely different than what I love to do. And I discovered that on the way. I can do like a whole separate video on just that topic, on like studying something that you don't like and you know how to kind of identify what you you know what you want to do. I had such a hard time um my first year because I didn't like engineering and didn't really love what I was doing. Um, so yeah, that happened my first year. Then my second year, I um, got into the School of Performing Arts at Syracuse and that changed my whole experience, like 360. Like it just, it all changed and it was like, ah, the light, like I was just so happy to be in um, the art, you know, the visual performing arts school because that is me. Like it was like perfect for me. So yeah, um, I was a cheerleader my second year. I was in the division one team, which we cheered for basketball, football, and we also competed in like nationals, like UCA nationals and stuff. That is also another experience in itself that I can do a separate video about. There's a lot to talk about, about cheer in college. And that was the first time I lived the, the snow in Syracuse, because if you don't know, it snows so much in Syracuse. So that's my first Syracuse winter. My good, good friends I met my sophomore year. They made my second year so special. That year, I think by the end of it, I began working with the marketing team at Syracuse, which is at Syracuse U on all platforms, I believe. And that was like super fun for me because... Ay, <laughs> también. So, I began working with the marketing team and also with the video production team. So I was in front of the camera and also behind the camera. And I learned so much because that was the beginning of like, kind of like a long family relationship with them with the staff at Syracuse because they're also so nice and so like supportive then my third year my junior year I decided to not do cheer again I can do a separate video on this <laughs> um so that year I was literally like just I had so much free time for like myself and to kind of enjoy college in a different way than what it was to be an athlete in college it was like different clubs and I was working with the marketing team so I had more time for that to do vlogs for them. I think I did my first campus tour in my third year, I believe. So that was, that's on their channel. Like, I really enjoyed what it was to kind of have my free time, do other things, experiment with my time, do more content for social media. It was a very fun semester. That was fall of 2022, I believe, yeah. Then that same year, that same, um, you know, like my junior year, I went abroad to Italy. Oh my goodness, that was the best experience in my life if you can go abroad go abroad right now like if you have the opportunity to go abroad go i was in florence for i, I believe five months and i learned so much i feel like i grew so much as well like that experience was amazing so that was my junior year and now my senior year which is where i am right now this last year was really fun because it was like i don't know just like realizing that it's my last year it was kind of nostalgic to me but like 
I was living it. Why am I not going back to Syracuse when I have one last semester left? I'm not going back to Syracuse on campus, but I am gonna be studying still at Syracuse, just in a different place. I'm gonna go abroad again to an amazing place and I'm so excited. There's so much going on in this city and I just can't wait to explore this new chapter. The reason why I'm not gonna go back to Syracuse for my last semester is because I'm gonna go to LA. I can't wait to go to LA. I'm gonna be in LA because Syracuse has a abroad program in LA. So I applied, I got in and I was like, I'm gonna go to LA. I love living new experiences and new things and learning about different cultures and like my abroad experience in Italy taught me so much about kind of being out of my comfort zone. There's so many things to do in LA. I've been like watching TikTok and like seeing like ideas and stuff I could do. There's like really cool hiking spots and like there's like really cool like movie screenings and like festivals I want to go to. I want to like do like the very touristy things like the Hollywood Walk of Fame and like walk into like the stars and like I want to go like dancing and I don't know, I just want to have fun and just see what there is to do and, and explore. Um, oh, and I want to go to Disneyland. If I don't, hold me accountable because I have to go to the rides. <gasps> I wonder what other like roller coasters are in LA. The point is that I just can't wait to live this new experience and I am so excited. Of course, I'm going back for graduation to Syracuse and I'm gonna be like with my friends and party in. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you so, so much. Subscribe for more content and follow my Instagram and my TikTok. It's at my name, Soleil Boy. So I'll see you in Los Angeles. <laughs>